So I'm going to teach you some really fast keyboard shortcuts to be able to navigate around your Google Chrome on Mac so that you don't have to use your mouse. And maybe it'll help you be a little bit more productive than you are today in your day-to-day -day jobs. First things first is we'll open Chrome. Uh, what we're interested in doing is opening new windows and closing windows. To open a new window is Apple N or Command N. Command N will open as many new windows as you want. You can see we can open a bunch. To close a window is Apple W. So you can see we can close one at a time by pressing Apple W on the keyboard. So the next shortcut I want to show you is oftentimes you'll be clicking around on your websites or in whatever app you're using and you'll want to easily go to the nav bar. Well the hotkey to highlight the nav bar is Apple L or Command L. And the good mnemonic for remembering this is L is for location. So if you want to travel to another location with your browser Apple L for jumping to location so we can search cats we can also press Apple L and type in a URL or a domain name so that leads us to the next hotkey which is maybe we don't like creating a bunch of windows every time we want to open a new tab or a new website so Chrome has tabs meaning uh, you know this plus sign up here. If you click the plus sign, it creates a new tab. If you press the X, it closes the tab. If you close too many tabs, you've closed all windows, but Chrome is still open, so we can open a new window again using Apple N. So having one tab open, instead of pressing the plus sign, we can press Apple T to create a new tab. So T for tab, Apple T. Apple W what we use to close Chrome windows also works for tabs. So if we're on a given tab and we press Apple W, it closes the tab. So just to rehash this, Apple T for new tab, Apple T, Apple T, Apple W, Apple W, Apple W to close tabs. Given that we've closed a few tabs, we've opened a few tabs, I want to show you a really helpful shortcut, which is Apple Shift T. Let's say we have another website open here like Twitter.com. Let's close the tab, and if we press Apple Shift T, it'll undo the tab closure we just did. So we can close the tab, reopen it. Close the tab, reopen it. This even works for new windows. So if we have NewYorkTimes.com open, and we close this window, if we do Apple Shift T, it reopens the other window. So Apple T creates new tabs. Apple W closes tabs and Apple Shift T undoes tab closing. So now that we've covered those very valuable tab manipulation hotkeys, let's say we have two tabs and we want to navigate from one tab to the other, meaning switch Chrome from focusing having one tab to having another open. So if we mouse over and we click, we can click between tabs by clicking on them. I'm going to show you the keyboard version of this. So there's two ways to do this. One is to press Control Tab. Control Tab, what it does is it navigates to the tab to the right. So if we've got two tabs, it'll wrap around to the one on the left. So Control Tab, Control Tab, Control Tab. Let's open another, uh, another tab, Washington Post, and let's t press Control Tab, and you'll see that we, ro we are rotating from left to right, and once we get to the rightmost tab, Control Tab, brings us to the beginning on the left. So this is not the only trick. There's also control shift tab. So control shift tab goes in the opposite direction. So control shift tab, left, 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 left. So control shift tab goes left, control tab goes right. Let's try one, two, three, one, two, three. So we've just learned another technique for navigating between tabs. Uh, control tab, control shift tab. Now I'll teach you one more that is maybe even easier, which is Apple key, command key, plus a number. So if you think about the tabs in order from left to right as one, two, three, we can press Apple one, Apple two, Apple three, and it'll jump from tab to tab. We can jump between tabs. Um, now that we know how to create new tabs, we know how to close tabs, we know how to undo closed tabs, we also know how to navigate to the right of the tab you're currently on. We now know navigate to the left of the tab we're currently on. 
Um, we're going to jump to um, how to navigate to certain features of Chrome. So those features include looking at your browsing history. So if you were thinking, oh, I was browsing websites earlier this morning, I read an article about Egypt, what you can do to hop over to your browsing history is Command Y or Apple Y. Apple Y opens up your browsing history. Obviously, I'm doing this on a clean computer, so you don't get to see a whole lot of interesting stuff. But this is really handy because it behaves exactly like another tab. So we can control tab to rotate away from it. We can come back to it. We can also close it and reopen it by pressing Apple Y. Apple W to close, Apple Y to navigate to history in a new tab. And once you're in history, you can search. So we can search Egypt. And you can see no search results found. That's because we haven't actually read any articles about Egypt. So history is very useful. Uh, that leads us to another functionality of Chrome, which is to browse what you've downloaded in your browser. So to navigate to your downloads is Apple Shift J. As you can see, it popped open another tab. We haven't downloaded any files, but you could imagine this is a pretty nifty way to browse the files you've downloaded. So we've covered most everything we might cover. Uh, the only last couple of things I'll show is uh, navigating to settings, which is something you won't as commonly do, which is Apple comma. Uh, Apple comma will bring, bring you here and you can search through settings. This is all hotkeys that you can navigate to from the nav menu of your Mac. In fact, it'll tell you what the hotkey is up here that it's Apple comma. Uh, preferences, settings, not so interesting, but what might be interesting to you is bookmarking. So you've probably dealt with the bookmark tab here, or bookmark nav bar, and you're probably used to adding bookmarks. Maybe bookmark this tab in your nav menu. If you click that, it creates it by default as a bookmark in your nav bar, your bookmark bar. You can also right click and delete it if you wanna clean up your bookmarks. But the hotkey, which we just saw, is Apple D. So Apple D will bookmark a page. And if you bookmark a page, you can also hit enter and it'll just complete the, the bookmarking. Uh, now, one last uh, trick relating to bookmarks is that you may not want to have your bookmarks up in your face all the time. Maybe you want to conserve screen real estate. So to toggle your bookmark bar is Apple Shift B. Apple Shift B will toggle it up and down so that maybe you can stay more focused on what you're looking at in Chrome. I've given you probably a buttload of uh, hotkeys to remember. Uh, I'll recite them really quick one last time. Apple N to create a new window. Apple W to close a window or tab. Apple T to create a new tab. Apple W to close a tab. Apple Shift T to undo a closed tab or window. Uh, and then rotating, navigating between tabs. Control tab to move to your right. Control shift tab to move to your left. Then Apple one, Apple two, Apple three, you can use the numbers to navigate to numbered tabs. Maybe you wanna to go to your first tab and you're on your ninth tab. Apple one will take you there. Then really quickly, um, command Y to bring up your history. Uh, command shift J to bring up your downloads. Uh, command comma to bring up preferences settings. And then bookmarking. Uh, Apple D for adding a bookmark and Command Shift B to toggle your bookmark menu. So that's it. I use those every day. That's probably what they pay me to do most of the time. So hope that helps. I hope you, it rubs off and you save a, even a fractional, well, fractional amount of time. Good luck.